All right, so this is going to be a follow-up video to the one I posted previously about how to use Mythic Black Core to print proxies for Dragon Ball Z cards. And I want to go ahead and show how to use this now to print cards f that are specifically official images of cards that you can find on websites such as the Dead Zone for Panini Z or uh, Retro DBZ CCG for score cards. And the reason for this is custom proxies are very cool. Uh, you know, the cool, it's cool seeing brand new artworks and new templating, but in the, for the most part, many of them are not going to be event legal simply because they have different unrecognizable imagery, or they have a different rarity which comes into play for certain card effects, or they have a different headshot which comes into play for certain card effects. There's a number of reasons as to why a card may or may not be legal, uh, a proxy card anyways, based on those factors. So. For the most part, when printing for official events or competitive events, you're going to want to print the official image if you can get a hold of it. So I'm going to be showing you how you can do this and get the best possible results. And it's going to involve a couple of steps. And I'm going to show you two different methods to doing this, uh, one through Mythic Black Core and one through MakePlayingCards.com. So let's start with Mythic Black Core. And I'm going to show you uh, starting out with a Panini card specifically. So. Let's go ahead and go into here, and you can see I'm. this is the collection of all of the uh, Panini Z and Fan Z cards, okay? So let's go ahead and select this movie collection promo of Blue Betrayal and click Upload. Now keep in mind, this is the official image hosted by uh, Dead Zone, and you can see we could make this work, we could print this, but it's going to be pretty low res, pretty fuzzy. And it's really not going to be, in my opinion, the, the best way to go about doing this. However, we can use this image after clearing it up a little bit. And that's a very, very simple process. To do that, we're going to go over here to a website called Cutout.pro. Now, this is an AI photo enhancing app. Uh, and it's completely free, although you do have a limit on how many you can do per day if you don't have an account. Though making an account is completely free, so I would recommend it. So we're going to go ahead and click uh, click Upload Image and click that same blue betrayal. And this is uploading now. And yeah, here you go. You can see the difference between the original and the recreation, which is just light years ahead. There's also an option for fidelity instead of quality. The differences are, for the most part, minimal between with every image I've uploaded. Uh, but you can choose whichever one looks better to you. In this case, they look pretty much exactly the same. Um, slight difference on the lettering over here I guess but it doesn't really matter and then you have the option of free download as a PNG or JPG always choose PNG for better image quality or you can go for a an HD download which is going to cost you credits which is a thing when you're a member on the website so the free download is honestly perfectly fine so we're going to select that that's downloaded cool now we're going to go back over to mythicblackcore.com and we're going to select the new one. So here's the old image, and then watch as it changes to the new image. Look at that. So, so much better, especially for printing through this website. Is it perfect? No. Uh, if you look at the bottom here, the Panini logo's definitely messed up, and so is the copyright information. However, the text is perfectly clear, the image is perfectly clear, all the things we care about are perfectly clear, and that's really what we want to focus on. Now the process of making sure that this is going to have a DBZ back when we print through Mythic Black Core, I've shown in a previous video. I'll link that video in the description to this one so you can kind of follow those steps. But this is a far, far better uh, quality image. Now not everything uh, from those files is going to need this treatment. Some of their uh, images are actually already very high quality, but many of them are in that smaller form factor and they're going, going to need to be enhanced for the best possible result. Now, for uh, Dragon Ball Z's, or for the scores version of Dragon Ball Z, let's go ahead and choose this Gohan the winner from Retro DBZ CCG dot Fat Cow. And these save as uh, WebP files, which can't be used. So in order to really use these here, we're gonna have to copy the image, go into a uh, photo editor. I use Paint.net, and we're going to paste this in, and then save it. Although, I, let me go ahead and auto-level this real quick, see if I can make the colors better. Yeah, I like that better. Alright, so now we're going to save this, and I'm going to save it as Gohan. 
So there's our image. Now if we try to use that image one to one through Mythic Black Core, let's see what happens. We can see it's fuzzy, it's not ideal. We could do it, but we obviously want better. So let's go ahead and upload this image to cutout.pro and see how much of an improvement in quality we can get using this website. So that looks a hell of a lot better to me. I don't know about you. Let's see if the fidelity looks better than the quality option on this particular card. Yet again, virtually identical, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll go ahead and free download that. And then go back over to Mythic Black Core. And upload. So here's the old image, and there's the new one. Much, much clearer and Again, the copyright information at the bottom is kind of screwed up, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is you can read the card, you can play the card, and it's good to go. And so, I really like this method, this two-step process for doing this. Now, if you want to take an existing card and re-template it to make playingcards.com formula, which is another website some people like to use, it is a bit more involved. What we have to then do is go ahead and I have this, I have all, uh, all the files I'm going to need for this here. But basically, what you're going to have to do is, uh, so you can see here, this is the back for make playing cards. What I'm going to do is kind of use this as a template, so I'm going to cut out the center of this image because we're going to need this to serve as our new border when printing through uh, make playing cards. Like I said, this is a bit more involved. I don't prefer this method, but there are folks who prefer using myth, uh, make playing cards to Mythic Black Core. And then we're going to select the entire interior image of the frame as best we can. Copy that. Paste it in here. Or specifically, we should probably open up the uh, enhanced version. That would probably be ideal, wouldn't it? There we go. I, I don't really recommend this version. I prefer Mythic Black Core over Make Playing Cards, but I'm showing it because there are folks who prefer one over the other, so... Once that's copied, we're going to paste that in, and you can see the size is not exact, so we're going to have to stretch this to fill. Okay. And then now we have the Make Playing Cards version of it, so we'll save this image as Gohan MPC. And we could actually probably enhance this image again because we have stretched it and the quality has reduced as a result. Or Sorry, that's the, the wrong image. So let's just go ahead and select this, Gohan MPC. We don't need that anymore. Okay, I'm actually not seeing a huge difference between the two. But, you know, screw it, we'll download it anyways. And again, more, much more involved process this way, but it's something you have the option of doing. The reason why we're going to have to reopen this is we need to resize it, so copy the information here, 825 by 1125. Make sure that it maintains the exact same size. And then we're going to go ahead and save this. Go over to make playing cards and select whatever finish we want. Select if we want it in holographic or not and click start your design and you know, in this case 55 cards whatever so here's how this all is laid out and we're going to need to then go in find our image and drag it over and there you go now you have a printable image for printing through makeplayingcards.com if you prefer it over mythicblackcore.com I find Mythic Black Core more straightforward and user-friendly, but you have the option if this is what you prefer to do. So, running out of time here because Bandicam has a 10-minute time limit, which sucks, but I hope this was helpful to everybody. If you're looking for high-quality scan recreations, you can find them over on my DeviantArt page, which is Dragon Ball Proxy House. Find the link to that in the description down below. I host as many scan recreations as I, as I can already for printing through Mythic Black Core and also custom images from various makers. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.